The talk last Friday was as much about Cork City's off-field problems as it was about what turned out to be a thrilling cup tie. The country's top scorer, Dave Mooney, reported to be on his way to Reading, was suspended and Shamrock Rovers took advantage of Cork's hesitant start. Stephen Rice setting up Jer O'Brien, who tested Michael Devine at the near post. City struggled to find their rhythm. One wondered if the financial problems had got through to the players. But good play here by Neil Horgan. And John O'Flynn made an opening. However, the shot lacked conviction. After what happened at Longford last season, Alan Matthews must be wondering if he was born under an unlucky star. And things almost got worse as Rovers cut City apart. Colin Healy was robbed and Stephen Rice set up Owen Doyle. His shot though came back off the upright with Devine well beaten. Porig Almond very unlucky not to get to the rebound. After that Matthews brought on Killian Lorden for Darren Murphy and that was the turning point of the game. Cork bossed the rest of the half. That was Neil Horgan's free kick saved by Barry Murphy. Lorden's had few opportunities for City but his cross was just behind O'Flynn and the opportunity was gone. However, their supporters were encouraged as the full-timers started to dominate the game. Lorden was good again as he set up Liam Carney. Again, Murphy did well in the Rovers' goal. And he had to be shot minutes later when Danny Murphy's cross was headed by Dennis Bean, And O'Flynn denied by arguably Rovers' best player on the night. It was all City at this stage and from Horgan's cross... Bean's header had the power, but not the direction. Within seconds of the restart, Tyg Purcell did very well to find Armand, but the young striker rushed his effort with Doyle inside. Ah, the impetuosity of youth. And ten minutes later, Rovers were made to pay for their missed opportunities. Murphy's long cross, volleyed in by Bean. The cup final hero building a reputation on Lee side as the man with the knockout punch. His shot may have touched Doyle on the way in. The journey from Cork was worth it and their side grew in confidence after the goal. Murphy, Gamble and Bean setting up substitute Laurie Dudfield for this shot. Managers like their teams to do the talking on the pitch, but Rovers played their part in an excellent game. This six-man move, the best that they produced. Sean O'Connor and Doyle setting up Armand, and Devine had to be sharp to make the save. As Rovers pushed forward, City caught them on the break. Bean setting up Healy, Murphy making the save looked pretty easy. Rovers 21 year wait for cup success will continue and Carney should have wrapped it up as he turned Darren Maguire but he missed the target. Cork City deserved to progress to the quarterfinals effectively ending Shamrock Rovers season. A difficult week for Alan Matthews ending on a happy note.